Automated Sentiment Lexicon Creation and Sentiment Analysis for Sinhala Language What is a Sentiment Lexicon? A Sentiment Lexicon is a dictionary that contains lexical units along with their relevant sentiment scores. What is Sentiment Analysis? Sentiment analysis is a natural language processing technique that automatically identifies the subjective information of given texts. Why Sentiment Analysis for Sinhala Language? Sinhala language does not have many language resources compared to other popular languages, because it is very difficult task due to the complexity of Sinhala language. We thought to experiment on that using techniques of other languages, and building our own deep learning models. Let's see what we have achieved through this project. Let's look at the demonstration. Visit to sencat.lk web application. You can find sentiment of Sinhala sentences in three steps. First type the sentence. Then choose the model. Finally click find sentiment button to get the sentiment. Let's try it now. You can enter a Sinhala sentence in this text box. Let me add one. You can choose either binary class or multi-class model according to the use case. Then click find sentiment button. You get the sentiment in real time. In binary class model, it returns the sentiment is either positive or negative. According to the results the sentence has a positive sentiment. Let's choose the multi-class model and try again. It return whether the sentiment is positive, negative, neutral or conflict. Also note that words are highlighted according to their word level sentiment. Now let's try another sentence which has a different sentiment. This sentence has a negative sentiment. Go to docs page to find more information about our sentiment analysis model. Not only that, but also you can download our data set, trained word embeddings and test our models. Let's deep dive into the related work that we have done to accomplish our goal. First, let's discuss about sentiment lexicon generation. Sentiment lexicon generation can be divided into two main methods as manual and automated. We are focusing on automated lexical creation. The reason for that is, manual lexicon creation is cumbersome, because it needs a lot of human effort and time. Automated lexicon creation can be divided into three main approaches as, supervised, unsupervised, and semi-supervised. We are more focused on semi-supervised and supervised approaches since unsupervised approach gives less accuracy compared to other approaches. In supervised approach, a manually annotated training set is needed and this training set should be large enough to get better performance. Then using that training set a machine learning model or neural network is trained to predict the sentiment score of unseen words. In semi-supervised approach, one technique is to use usage frequency to create a seed set and label propagation to expand the lexicon. Expanding a foundation word graph with the help of Beam Search is also tested for this task. Another technique is to expand a seed set by calculating the similarities between each word in the corpus and the seed set using TFID or SOPMI algorithms. Moving into the methodology and solution, as listed here we proposed five methodologies for sentiment lexicon generation task. Let's briefly look at them. Our first method was to predict the sentiment score using a granular seed set. This method has two main parts. First, a granular seed set should be extracted from the corpus. Then this seed set is used to calculate word similarity for subjective words. We combined existing seed set creation techniques to filter seed words. Then we calculated the cosine similarity between a given word and seed set to propagate the sentiment. Next, we introduced a novel way of propagating sentiment score using the same seed set but with the aid of word embedding vocabulary. We get neighbor words for each word in seed set looking at word embedding similarity. Then the sentiment of the root word is given to neighbor words. We continue this process until no new words are added to the queue. We also experimented this method with both word2vec and fast text. 
we could optimize some parameters such as number of words in seed set and minimum similarity value to get neighbors. El Karim and T. Fiskor have presented techniques to interpret word embedding dimensions to analyze word vectors of different categories. We experimented with their methodology to interpret dimensions for three sentiment categories of Sinhala word embeddings. Later, decomposed dimensions were used to measure cosine similarity between words. We integrated this idea with the previous method and built sentiment lexicons. In this method, not only linear statistics such as mean and variance of every dimension but also other distributional statistics were used to interpret dimensions. The latest development of cross-lingual word embeddings inspired the idea to import sentiment from a language which has advanced sentiment lexicons. When compared to traditional dictionary translation, this method has the ability to keep the context of words. So given Sinhala words, we get the similar English word using cross-lingual word embeddings and its sentiment score using an English sentiment lexicon and finally we can create a sentiment lexicon. We used several standard English sentiment lexicons such as sentiwordnet, mka, and opinion lexicon with our experiment. Varying the number of nearest neighbors and sunset properties we could get much optimized results. In the fifth model which was a supervised approach, we experimented with the latest machine learning models and neural networks to classify sentiment words to generate a sentiment lexicon. One reason that made it feasible for us is then, we had a much larger data set with nearly 10,000 words which is annotated for positive, negative, and neutral sentiment. We input the data set and word embeddings to train the machine learning model. Later the trained model is used to predict the sentiment of unseen words. The advantage of this method is that we can input any word whether subjective or objective and get the relevant sentiment. Moving on, let's discuss about sentiment analysis. When we consider the related approaches for sentiment analysis especially for highly involved languages in NLP like English, deep learning techniques such as CNNs, RNNs, and attention models have achieved better results without the use of any language dependent features. When we consider the whole picture of the related approaches four main steps could be identified. Feature representation, feature generation using language independent features such as word 2 vec fast text models. Then, feature extraction and sentiment analysis models. When considering the limitations of deep learning techniques for language modeling tasks, vanishing gradient problem, simultaneous usage of n-gram features and sequential features, loss of information due to pooling in CNNs, and need of large corpus for attention models were creating issues intrinsically. Therefore, for this purpose, we chose capsule networks to generally enhance sentiment analysis tasks for any language. I will give a small introduction to capsule networks. Basically, this is an enhancement to CNN and its pooling operations. A capsule is a group of neurons whose activity vector represents the instantiation parameters of a specific type of entity such as an object or an object part. Under our experiments, we use the length of the activity vector to represent the probability that the sentiment or text category exists and its orientation to represent the instantiation parameters. When we consider multilayer capsule networks, active capsules at one level make predictions, via transformation matrices, for the instantiation parameters of higher level capsules. When multiple predictions agree, a higher level capsule becomes active. We use an iterative routing by agreement mechanism where a lower level capsule prefers to send its output to higher level capsules whose activity vectors are most similar with the prediction coming from the lower level capsule. Next, these are the state of the art techniques used for Sinhala sentiment analysis. Here, HAN stands for Hierarchical Attention Hybrid Neural Networks. The previously introduced dual-state capsule networks outperformed all other previously mentioned techniques for Sinhala language with a significant difference. Finally we combined generated sentiment lexicon with sentiment analysis process to enhance the results. Lexicon integration for sentiment analysis can be done in mainly three ways. First one is to create a sentiment embedding for each term in the corpus using a sentiment lexicon and concatenate that sentiment embedding to the original word embedding and use it as the input to sentiment analysis models. This will simply provide sentiment information about each word in a given document. 
Second method is to use an attention mechanism which gives higher attention to sentiment words. Final method is to train two tasks parallelly. Here, the main task would be the sentiment analysis of a given document while the auxiliary task would be the sentiment prediction of individual words in the document. Lower layers common to both tasks are trained to infer sentiment information of each word and hence would be predictive for the main task. Thank you for listening to our research work. If you are interested in this research please visit sencat.lk for more information. Have a good day.